Dear God, we thank you for this day. Thank you for the days to come. Thank you for your word. Thank you for clearing our paths of all evil. Thank you for all the things that we take for granted, Father. Thank you for leading us and guiding us in all your ways. And we thank you for your word and your message. Thank you for lending us your 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 courage and your strength to get through these difficult times. Thank you, Heavenly Father, for for our families and our loved ones. Thank you for hope and encouragement. Thank you for everything that you do for us, Father. Thank you for your forgiveness. Thank you for peace. Thank you for your power. Thank you, Jesus, for this message. May you guide us and lead us in all your ways. We give to you glory in all things. In Jesus' name we pray in love. Amen. Romans chapter 13. <clears throat> Let every soul be subject unto higher powers, for there is no power but of God. The powers that be are ordained of God. Whosoever therefore resisteth the power resisteth the ordinance of God, and they that resist shall receive themselves damnation. For rulers are not a terror to good works, but to, to the evil. For rulers are not a terror to good works, but to the evil. Will thou then be afraid of the power? Do that which is good, and thou shalt be that thou shalt have praise of the same. For he is the minister of God to thee for good. But if thou do that which is evil, be afraid, for he beareth not the sword in the in vain. For he is in the minister of God, a revenger to execute wrath upon him that doeth evil. Wherefore ye must needs be subject not only for wrath but also for conscience sake for this cause pay ye tribute also for they are god's ministers attending continually upon this very thing render therefore to all their dues tribute to whom tribute is due custom to whom custom fear to whom fear honor to whom honor owe no man anything but to love one another for he that loveth another hath fulfilled the law. For this thou shalt not commit adultery, thou shalt not kill, thou shalt not steal, thou shalt not bear false witness, thou shalt not covet. And if there be any other command it, commandment, it is briefly comprehended in this saying, namely, thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself. Love worketh no ill to his neighbor. Therefore love is the fulfilling of the law, and that knowing the time that now is, is the high time to awake out of sleep. For now is our salvation nearer when we believed. And that knowing the time that now is the high time to awake out of sleep. For now is our salvation nearer than we believed. And that knowing the time that now is the high time to awake out of sleep for now is our salvation nearer when we believed the night is far spent the day is at hand let us therefore cast off the works of darkness let us put on the armor of God the armor of light let us walk honestly that is in the day and not in rioting and drunkenness not in chambering and wantonness not in strife and envying, but, pe but ye put on the Lord of Christ and make not provision for the flesh to fulfill the lust. Therefore, amen. Praise be.
Him that is Romans chapter 14. Him that is weak in the faith receive ye, but not to doubtful disputations. For one believeth that he may eat all things, another is weak eateth herbs. For one believeth that he may eat all things, another who is weak eateth herbs. Let no not let not him that eateth despise him that eateth not, and let not him which eateth not judge him that eateth. For God hath received him. Who art thou judgest another man's servant? To his own master he standeth or falleth. Ye he shall be holden up, for God is able to make himself stand. One man esteemeth one day above another, another esteemeth every day alike. Let every man be fully persuaded in his own mind. He that regardeth the day regardeth, regardeth it unto the Lord, and he that regardeth not the day to the Lord he did not regard it. He that eateth to the Lord, for he giveth God thanks, and he that eateth not to the Lord he eateth not, and giveth God thanks. For none of us liveth to himself, and no man dieth to himself. For whoever we live, we live unto the Lord. And whether, whether we die, we die unto the Lord. Whether we live, therefore, or die, we are, we are the Lord's. For to this end Christ both died and rose and received, that he might be Lord both of dead and living. But why doest thou judge thy brother? Or why doest thou sit a not thy brother? For he shall, <clears throat> for we shall stand before the judgment seat of Christ. For it is written, As I live, saith the Lord, every knee shall bow to me, and every tongue shall confess to God. So then every one of us shall give account of himself to God. Commentary 40. Earl Roberts. Romans. So then every one of us shall give account of himself to God. What you have is yours, and trust and in your responsible responsible for its use. One businessman told me I am just as concerned about investing God's money in a place where we'll return to dividends as I am in my own business in investment. In fact, I feel worse about a bad investment made with God's money than I do when I make a bad investment with my own. I believe he continued that when the Lord gives me the ability to give, I am held as much responsible giving brother Roberts as you are preaching and if I fail to do what God enables me to do I have failed God just as surely as you would if you failed to preach the gospel I urge you to tithe systematically some Christians feel that because they give liberally to the church they have tithed this is not necessarily true there is only one way to know if you, you, you really tithe and pay God his share. That is to keep books with God as you would keep books in any other business. And that deduct 10% of your income or profit and be sure that one-tenth goes into God's work. The scripture bears out that the Lord keeps a record of giving, of our giving. In Acts 10.4, Cornelius was told that his giving had become up before God and as a memorial. Amen.
Let us not therefore judge one another any more, but judge this rather, that no man put a stumbling block or an occasion to fall in his brother's way. I know and am persuaded by the Lord Jesus that there is nothing unclean of itself, but to him that esteemeth anything to be unclean, to him that it is unclean. But thy brother is begrieved with thy heart, thy meat. But if thy brother be grieved with thy meat, now walkest thou not charitably. Destroy not him that with thy meat, for whom Christ died. Let not then your good be evil spoken of. For the kingdom of God is not meat and drink, but righteousness and peace and joy in the Holy Ghost. Commentary 41, Romans. Robert. Joy comes not from things without, but from things from the Holy Spirit who dwells within. The kingdom of God is not meat and drink. That is, not dependent upon the things that you take in. The money you take in or the food you take in does not produce joy. Rather, joy comes from, the, from knowing Jesus and that is knowing that in your heart that you have turned yourself toward God and the thrust of your life is in Godward. It doesn't mean you are go not going to make mistakes and you are not going to, ha to have to ask God to forgive you from time to time, but it means that the, tr the thrust of your life is toward that which is the right and good. True peace comes from God. It comes from knowing that your sins are forgiven and because Christ dwells within. Amen. For he that is, for he that is in these things serveth Christ is acceptable to God and approved of men. Let us therefore follow after the things which make for peace and things where, where, wherewith one may edify another. For meat destroys not the work of God. All things indeed are pure, but it is evil for that man who eateth with offense. <clears throat> it is good neither to eat flesh nor to drink wine nor anything where, whereby thy brother stumbleth, or is offended, or is made weak. Hast thou faith, have it to thyself before God. Happy is he that commandeth not himself in that thing which he, he alloweth. And he that doubteth, he is damned, if he eat, because he eateth not of faith. For, for whosoever is not of faith is is sin, is of sin. When we that are strong ought to bear the infirmities of the weak and not to please ourselves, let every one of us please his neighbor for his good to edification. For even Christ pleased not himself, but as it is written, the reproaches of them that reproached, reproached thee fell on me. For whosoever things, for whatsoever things, are written aforetime, were written for our learning, that we, through patience and comfort of the Scriptures, might have hope. Now, the God of patience. And consolation grant you to be like-minded one toward another according to Christ Jesus that ye may with one mind and one mouth glorify God even the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ wherefore receive one ye one another as Christ also received us to the glory of God now I say that Jesus Christ was a minister of the circumcision for the truth of God to conform to confirm the promises made unto the fathers and that the Gentiles might glorify God for his mercy as it, as it is written for this cause I will confess to thee among the Gentiles and sing unto thy name and against he again and again he saith rejoice ye Gentiles with his people and again praise the Lord 
all ye Gentiles, and laud him and all ye people. And again, as says, says, there shall be a root of Jesse, and that shall, and he that shall rise to Ryan over the Gentiles, and in him shall the Gentiles trust. Now the good, the God of hope, fill you with all joy and peace, and in believing, that ye may abound in hope through the power of the Holy Ghost. I and I myself also am persuaded of you, my brethren, that ye ye all are ye also are full of goodness, filled with no, with all knowledge, able to also to admonish one another. Nevertheless, brethren, I have written the more boldly unto you in some sort, as putting you in mind because of the grace that is given to me of God, that I should be a, the minister of Jesus Christ to the Gentiles, ministering the gospel of God, that the offering up to the holy up to the Gentiles might be acceptable, being sanctified by the Holy Ghost. I have therefore where, whereof I may glory through Jesus Christ in those things which pertain to God. For I will not dare to speak of any of those things which Christ Christ has not wrought by me to make the Gentiles obedient by word and deed, through mighty signs and wonders by the poor of the Spirit of God, so that from Jerusalem and round unto the <coughs> Assyrian, <coughs> excuse me, I have fully preached the gospel of Christ. Commentary 42, Romans chapter 15, verse 18. The unbelievers must have the gospel fully preached to them. This can be done in only three ways. The three methods of foreign ministry and evangelism used by Paul were preaching God's word, <coughs> performing deeds of mercy and compassion and performing and performing mighty signs and wonders by the power of the spirit of God God showed me that these three methods with which emphasis on the third method are shortly to be put into operation again ye so I have strived to preach the gospel not where Christ was named, lest I should build upon another man's foundation. But it is written, To whom he was not spoken of, they shall see, and they shall have not heard, shall understand. For which cause I also I have been much hindered from coming to you. But now, having no more place in these parts, and having a great desire these many years to come unto you, Whensoever I take my journey into Spain, I will come to you, for I trust to see you in my journey and to be brought on to my way thirdward by you, fifth thyth word by you, if first I be somewhat fulfilled with your company. But now I go into Jerusalem to minister to minister unto the saints. For it which has pleased them of Macedonia and Achaia to make a certain contribution, contribution for the poor saints which are at Jerusalem. <coughs> it hath pleased them verily, and their debtors they are. For the Gentile, for if the Gentiles have been made <coughs> part, partakers of their spiritual things, their duty is also to minister unto them. And carnal things. When therefore I have performed this and have sealed to them this fruit, I will come by you into Spain. And I am sure that when I come unto you, I shall come in the fullness of the blessings of the gospel of Christ. Now I beseech you, brethren, for the Lord Jesus Christ's sake and for the love of the Spirit, that ye strive together with me in your prayers to God for me that I may be delivered from them that do not believe in Judea, and that my services which I have for, for Jerusalem may be accepted of the saints, that I may come unto you with joy by the will of God, and may be with you befreshed. Now the, the God of peace be with you all. Amen. Chapter 16. I command you to 
Phoebe, our sister, which is a servant of the church, which is at Centuria, that ye receive her in the Lord as becoming the saints, and that ye assist her in whatsoever business she hath need of you. For she has been a secure of many, and of myself also. Great Priscilla and Aquilia, may helpers, my helpers in Christ Jesus, who have for my life laid down their own necks, and to whom not only I give thanks, but also all the churches of the Gentiles. Likewise, greet the church that is in their house. Salute well beloved Ephesius, who is the first fruits of Achaia unto Christ. Greet Mary, who bestowed much labor on us. Salute Andronicus and Junia and my kinsmen and my fellow prisoners who are note who are of note among the apostles who were in Christ before me. Greet Empelius, my beloved in the Lord. Salute Urbane, our helper in Christ, and Sacheus, my beloved. Salute Apelius, approved in Christ. Salute them that which are of Astral, <coughs> Astral Bulus household. Salute Herdon, my kinsmen. Greet them that be of the household of Narcissus, which are in the Lord. Salute Tripina, Tripina, and Triposa, which labor unto the Lord. Salute the beloved Parasus, which labored much unto the Lord. Salute Rufus, chosen in the Lord, and his mother, and mine. Salute Asencritus, Philegon, Hermas, Petrobus, Hermas, and the brethren which are with them. Salute Philologus, Philologus, and Julia, and Nerus, 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 and his sister, and Olympus, and all saints which are them. Salute one another with, with an holy kiss. The churches of Christ salute you. Now I beseech you, brethren, mark them which cause divisions and offenses contrary to the doctrine which ye have learned, and avoid them. For they are such serve not the Lord of Jesus Christ, but their own belly, and by good words and of fair speeches deceive the hearts of the simple. For your obedience is come abroad above, uh, unto all men. I am glad, therefore, on your behalf, but ye... I would not have you wise unto that which is good and simple concerning evil. And the God of peace shall bruise Satan under your feet shortly. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you. Amen. Timotheus, my well worker fellow, and Lucas, Lucius, and Jason, and Sosipiter, Sosipiter, and my kinsmen salute you. I, Tertius, who wrote this epistle, salute you unto the Lord. Gaius, my own, mine host, and the holy church, the whole church saluteth you. Erasistus, the chamberlain of the city, saluteth you. And Quartus, a brother, the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you all. Amen. Now to, now to him, to him that is the power to establish you according to my gospel and the preaching of Jesus Christ according to the revelation of the mystery which was kept secret since the world began but now is made manifest and by the scriptures of the prophets according to the commandment of the everlasting God made known to all nations for the obedience of faith to God only wise be glory through Jesus Christ forever and ever Amen Praise Jesus